What if every step you took, you stepped on someone's life? Would you watch where you walk more carefully? A walk across the Naval Training Center promenade represents a step in the right direction for the nonprofit Aja Project's Journey Program, a community-oriented after-school youth development program for displaced refugee students. They use photography and words to carry a message to the community, understand and unite. Everybody has a story to tell. And that's what the Aja Project is uh, all about, you know. They give you the opportunity to tell your story to somebody who's willing to listen. And all this you see around here, this is all people's stories, you know. Stories about struggle, pain, you know, love, whatever it may be about. You know, but it's somebody's life. When you see the visual display, you may think that it's all about art, but it's so much more than that. You'll wonder why here at NTC and why on the ground. I want people to know we often forget what we are stepping on. So I wanted to precisely put these um, stories that we don't hear about on the ground so that we actually experience with our body and then we realize, oh, we're stepping on something, you know? And we're constantly stepping on other people's history. And then I think we don't, we don't often take enough time to pay attention to these stories that, that we step on. So the Aja students wrote their stories, 600,000 words, more than 4,000 square feet, by 200 kids and blended them together in this mural under the guidance of creative director Shinpei Takeda. They all know it will be stepped on, but they hope it will not go unnoticed. When I first came in, I was very like scared, I was shy, and in a way I kind of did not accept my culture. I didn't like it just because I wanted to fit in with everybody else. And when I came into the Aja Project and they allowed me to express myself, they allowed me to be who I am, it allowed me to just be, be Middle Eastern, be Iraqi, and be proud of it, and not have to hide it, and not have to deny it in any way, and go up to people and be proud to admit that I am an Iraqi American, and that's okay, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's a, it's a unique program in the sense that, yes, while on the one hand it has the appearance of an art program, the truth is it's a much deeper process than just creating an art product. It's a process about really building individuals and building a collective story. And through their stories, seeing ourselves represented. Uh, there's agencies that look for that kind of programming and see it as really the way that art programs are moving, which is not just about an art product, but really about a process and creating a different type of learning environment. The Aja Project opened its display on Human Rights Day in December. The display will be here at NTC until February. It's the fifth large-scale public exhibit in the 10-year-old organization's history. The organization believes its community outreach travels well beyond San Diego. On a national level, people do pay attention to cities that have um, innovative, interesting and edgy programs and art movements. The Aja Project, under the Obama Stimulus National Endowment for the Arts, was one of only two San Diego agencies to receive funding. 25000 went to Aja and 50000 to the Old Globe. I think when you look at arts programming, it's much more than about an art product. It's about a process. It's about giving people critical thinking skills, communication skills. And those are the kind of skills that are going to transfer on in individuals' lives. For the students, their mural is a stepping stone to a brighter future. Oh, I used to be a shy kid, you know. And the Aja Project, like I said, it gave the opportunity to, you know, for me to express myself. And I don't know, I still, I, I still think I'd be in a shell by now, you know. Still finding ways to express myself. So basically, without the Aja Project, there'll be a lot that I don't have right now. For the San Diego Fine Arts Society's Art Pulse TV, I'm Phoebe Chong Chua.